Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to use buttons in your Ionic 4 app. So we start from our previous video where you have a simple heading with a high layer content. So currently we are working in a home folder within home within the home.page.html. So we can use built-in ionic co component named as ion button to include a button. Let's name it as a click me ion button. If you save it, it will automatically reload and show you a button. Right now, if you click it, nothing will happen. So to add an event like uh, if you want to do something and a user click on add have to bind an event to it event named as a click don't forget the parenthesis how to put them in the parenthesis and within a quotation add a function name that is button click so right now we don't pass any argument to the function so go to the home page dot ts file here with an export classroom you add that function and let me just put a alert uh, named as button click and save it once you save it uh, if you click it it will just display button is click okay so in many cases instead of alert you can just use console log to display any events so we'll just put console log button click to view the logs go to menu i'm using firefox uh, you can find a similar option in a google chrome also uh, go to menu web developer and web console you can also use control shift k so there is a bunch of Errors there, just, just, make, just clear it. Okay, if you click it, you will say button is clicked. And uh, it, it will also display a page name and a uh, number, line number, which it displayed. So it, it is saying 411. And the command to print the console is 11th. Okay. So uh, there are few more uh, options you can pass it. Uh, one is fill. Uh, if you pass the fill as clear and save it, you can see uh, the appearance is changed. Mm, there are uh, by default solid is the one uh, it will prefer if you don't pass anything. Uh, one is clear, clear another row. there are three options you can pass uh, just forget them let me check another one is outline uh, there will be many options uh, it is you can check all of them I, just forget. I think border uh, I am not sure outline sorry let's say outline So if you reload it again, you can see it just displays outline. Uh, with this, uh, you can also pass. Let me put less solid. You can also pass another argument like uh, color. So primary one is a default one. You can get the same color. If you pass secondary, you can see the color is changed. You can check uh, different colors to pass in the official documents. Ionic button. These are the colors: primary, secondary, ternary, success warning. Yeah, there are like uh, eight of them, I think. Uh, another one is uh, you can include icons as a buttons I'll show you how to do that 
so let me add a on button on another one uh within this uh, we has we add another component named as cyan icon and for this uh, we will put a name name will be like uh, let's take a one icon here let's take this one uh, the name is arrow forward you can also see the specified uh, syntax version okay arrow forward i'll just put it here and see if it's get or not see we can we get this arrow button here okay right now there is no event to it but yeah uh, to add an event again you have to add the click event here not for the ion ion icon you have to add click event to the button so <coughs> uh, let's add a click event name it as a icon click save it and go to ts page click it I just get button click let me just create that for you if I click the button you can, you can say button click if I click icon okay that's sweet I don't click it might be big problem with it Okay, I forget the parentheses. Okay, these are okay. Uh, okay, if I clear this thing, no, we get a angle. So uh, we can also customize this icon as shown in here. Ionic button thing. You can specify the slot option when you put it in you can get icon on the right so if i just specify this slot as n on you know, just copy this yeah and put like a right icon see the icon is displayed at the right So by default, uh, it won't display any icon. Uh, I have to pass a slot option to display an icon. That's it, guys. You can find the link of source code in my description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.